You can find the front wiper motor used in the video on the carparts.com website via the link in the description. Turn your engine off and set the parking brake. Now you need to remove the wiper blade arms. Before doing this, position a piece of adhesive tape to keep track of their end of stroke location so that you can position them correctly when reassembling. Pull on the hood release lever and open the hood. Using a ratchet and a 14 mm socket, loosen the nuts. Remove the wiper blade arms by gently levering up and down. If they are not moving, we recommend using a wiper arm puller to make the operation easier. Lift the windshield frame. Then remove it. Disconnect the power connector from the wiper motor. Using a ratchet and a 10 mm socket, unscrew the two bolts holding the wiper linkage. Then remove the assembly by shifting the bushing from its retaining tab. Using a 12 mm wrench, unscrew the nut holding the wiper linkage to the wiper motor. Before removing it, memorize its position so that you can put it back in place correctly on the new motor. Using a ratchet, an extender, and a Torx T30 socket, unscrew the two bolts holding the wiper motor to the linkage. You can now remove the linkage from the motor. Retrieve the two nuts on the old motor. Hey, it's Alex from carparts.com. If you enjoyed this video and want to support us, like, comment, and subscribe. Okay, back to work. Take the new motor and put the two nuts back in place. You can find the front wiper motor in the video on the carparts.com website via the link in the description. Put the linkage back in place. Then screw in the two bolts. Reinstall the linkage on the motor. Then screw the nut back on. Reinstall the mechanism in the windshield frame by inserting the bushing firmly into its housing. Next, screw the two retaining bolts back in. Reconnect the motor. Important step. To put the motor and the wiper mechanism in the zero position, loosen as much as possible the nut that connects the linkage to the motor. 
and disengage the mechanical tab from its slot. Then turn on the ignition and activate the wiper motor until it stops. The motor will then be in zero position. Next, turn off the engine. You can now screw the nut back on. You can purchase the parts we used here by visiting our website at carparts.com. Put the windshield frame back in place. Make sure the rubber side covers are firmly in place. Then, clip the frame back into all its slots. Reassemble the wiper blade arms without tightening too much. Close the hood. Lastly, remove the adhesives. Operation complete.